Hello friends and my dear students. Welcome back to my channel Phoenix Physics. Today we are going to learn measurement. What is measurement? Simply we can say an action of measuring something is measurement. In our day to day life we can measure length, mass, time, temperature, then speed etc. Consider this is a rope. I am going to measure the length of the rope with the help of tape. The tape shows the numerical values value as 10. Similarly, I am going to measure my weight with the help of weighing machine. So the weighing machine shows the numerical value as 100. Here I am measuring the length of the rope you know here I am measuring weight or mass okay in physics we say mass but in our day to day life we say weight here I am measuring mass here I am measuring length these two are nothing but our physical quantity These two are numerical values. How will you differentiate these two numerical values? With the help of units. Suppose if we write 10 meter means here I am measuring length. Suppose if I write 100 kilogram means here I measured weight. Right. So, the comparison of any physical quantity with its standard unit is known as measurement. I will repeat. Comparison of any physical quantity with its standard unit is measurement. Next one is definition of physical quantities. Quantities that can be measured and in terms of which laws of physics are described are known as physical quantity. I will explain one by one. Can you give some example for this physical quantity? Just now we discussed nothing but length, mass, time, energy, speed all are physical quantities. These physical quantities have magnitude and units. For example, 100 kilogram. Here, 100 is our magnitude and kilogram is nothing but unit. Okay. Now, I'll ask one question. I'm going to give 10, 10 rupees note. You just count the note. 100 100 right now tell me is currency a physical quantity no why here you measured the rupee note the first part of this definition is satisfied but it does not describe any physical loss so this is not a physical quantity. Now I repeat the definition. Quantities that can be measured and in terms of which laws of physics are described are known as physical quantity. Up to this clear. Next one is types of physical quantities. This physical quantities are classified into two fundamental or base quantity then derived quantity one more quantity is there that is supplementary quantity
that we will discuss later okay first one is fundamental or base quantity fundamental or base quantities or quantities which cannot be expressed by any other physical quantities which cannot be expressed by any other physical quantity that is fundamental or base quantity these are seven fundamental or base quantities length mass time electric current temperature amount of substance and luminous intensity next one is derived quantities quantities that can be expressed in terms of fundamental quantities are known as derived quantities example area then volume what is the formula for area it is nothing but length into breadth then formula for volume simply we can write area into height here breadth means here also we are measure we are going to measure length height means here also we are measuring the length so the derived quantities that can be expressed in terms of fundamental quantities that is known as derived quantities what is supplementary quantities that we will discuss in our next video now there are two types one is plane angle another one is solid angle this next topic is definition of unit and its type what is unit measurement of any physical quantity involves with certain basic comparison with certain basic arbitrarily chosen internationally accepted reference standard known as unit for example 100 kg here 100 is the magnitude and kilogram is the unit this unit is accepted by everyone in the world right okay so this kilogram is nothing but our unit there are two types of units fundamental or base unit and derived unit the units in which fundamental quantities are measured are known as fundamental or base unit just now we discussed seven fundamental quantities length mass time etc what is the unit for length meter what is the unit for mass kilogram what is the unit for time second these these are fundamental or base unit units of measurement of all other physical quantity which can be obtained by multiplication or division of power of fundamental units are known as derived units now tell me what are the derived quantities you know area then volume then speed all are derived quantities now tell me what's the formula for area length into length into breadth okay so the unit for length length is meter and breadth is also meter so our area the unit for area is meter squared same way volume meter cube then speed meter per second here meter is the fundamental unit so so either multiplication or division of power of fundamental unit is known as derived unit up to this clear our next topic is different different types of measurement system 
what is system of units a complete set of unit which is used to measure all the fundamental and derived quantities are known as system of units there are three types of system of units one is fps another one is cgs another one is mks here we considered three fundamental quantities length mass time in fps system length can be expressed as foot mass can be expressed as pound time can be expressed as second this fps system is known as british engineering system second one is cgs system here length can be expressed as centimeter then mass can be expressed as gram time can be expressed as second this cgs system is known as gaussian system third one is mks system here length can be expressed as meter mass can be expressed as kilogram and time can be expressed as second these two that is cgs system and mks system are called as metric system what is the meaning for metric system which means it can be expressed as powers of 10 for example how will you write 10 mm you can write it as 10 to the power of 1 how will you write 100 cm 10 to the power of 2 how will you write 1000 g 10 to the power of 3 right so what is metric system it can be expressed as powers of 10 like this up to this clear our next topic is si unit system just now we discussed three uh, system system of unit one is fps then cgs and mks here let let we discuss about what is si unit system this system is accepted by all the scientists in the world this si is the abbreviation for system international system international is french name what are the advantages of this si unit system there are three advantages one is rational system of unit what is rational system of unit the system the si unit this system si unit system uses one unit for one physical quantity for example for length we use only meter for mass we use only kilogram so one unit for one physical quantity that's why si unit system called as rational system of unit second one is coherent system of unit what is coherent system of unit let us consider area so area you know length into breadth and the formula you know meter squared we can derive units from the fundamental units that's why si unit system is called as coherent system of unit third one is this is metric system 
metric system you know what is metric system that is it can be expressed as powers of 10 that is 10 to the power of 100 centimeter can be expressed as 10 to the power of 2 centimeter 1000 gram can be expressed as 10 to the power of 3 grams so metric system means it can be expressed as powers of 10 up to this clear i hope this video is useful to you if you like my video Please share and subscribe my video. Thank you.